beautiful morning to you this is yet another time to know what is going on in our world of politics this is one word tv and i am your presenter Ogo Chinyere, and here are the headlines stop court action let's talk things over tinubu tells ex-minister uche oga presidential candidate of the all progressive congress apc asiwajibola tinubu has urged the ex-minister of state for steel and Mines Development, Dr. Uche Oga, to stop all court cases he filed over the Abia State Governorship primaries and come and meet him to talk over the matter. Oga had filed a suit challenging the, uh, the declaration of Emenike as the governorship candidate of the party. Another headline says, Battle for Lagos, APC Opposition Parties Fight Dirty. Labour Party PDP says ruling party intimidating and strifling us. APC also said they are crying wolf where there is none. It says intrigues trailing the battle for Lagos, Nigerians' economic capital, have assumed a frightening dimension as opposition parties are accusing the ruling APC of denying them a level playing ground to accomplish their 2023 ambition. With the general elections a few weeks away, the opposition parties say they are worried over persistent muzzling of their political campaigns through schemes allegedly induced by the APC. However, the APC has dismissed allegations as Baudadash, saying it does not need underhand schemes to retain the state it has been ruling since 1999 through various platforms. Another headline says, Stakeholders says we need leaders who are not betrayers and looters. We need leaders, not treasury looters, betrayers. Abia Monarch says this. We need trusted leaders to rebuild Igbo land not looters again spoken present political leaders need to go they failed retired police officer makes the statement i neck says reject vote buying elect credible leaders prof pata says we need visionary and courageous leaders Another headline says, APC says no government has completed abandoned projects like Buhari. The All Progressive Congress says no successive government in Nigeria has been able to complete abandoned projects like the President Muhammadu Buhari-led administration. He says this that Tom, Dr. Tom Ohekere, Head Media Good Governance Campaign Committee, APC 2023 Independent Campaign Council, said this when he spoke with newsmen shortly after the committee's inaugural meeting on Tuesday in Abuja. Another headline says, Buhari's flags of first phase Lagos Marina Mile 2 Blue Line Rail. As Lagos signs MOU for second phase, it unveils J. Randall Center. President Muhammad Buhari yesterday officially commissioned the first phase of the Lagos Blue Line Rail system from the Marina Mile 2 axis of the state. Buhari, who had earlier unveiled the John Randall Center for Yoruba's Culture and History on Nyan in Lagos, was accompanied by his host, Lagos State Governor Babajide Somoulu. The center is a project that fits into urban regeneration project at the heart of Lagos Island. Another headline says, a boy musician allegedly beating for refusing to sing APC candidate's campaign song. He says a popular high-life musician in Ebony State, Kelvin Ibinabo, is now hospitalized after he was allegedly attacked and beaten by an aide to Governor David Omahi in the state. The aide known as Machiavelli Uzo is the coordinator of the Oha Ozara Development Center in Oha Ozara local government area. The artist told journalists on Tuesday that the coordinator alongside his thugs attacked him on Saturday night with various weapons after which they locked him up in a room. Another headline says, Article renews commitment to improve economy, education, and security. The presidential candidate of PDP, Atiku Abubakar, has renewed his commitment to revamp Nigeria's ailing economy as well as improve security and quality service 
delivery in the education and health sectors. That's all the news we have for you today. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bells to get notified when we have news just for you. This is One World TV and I still remain your presenter, Gachinere. Have a blessed day.